Hey family, it's the Mobile Home Diva. And in today's video, we're gonna be touring this pretty little single wide. Now this is a cab co. If you guys remember, I went to Bowden, Georgia some time ago and reviewed a cat, the Cabco Homes. Well, this is a Yes Mobile Homes in Byron, Georgia, and it is a Cabco single wide. So what I'm doing now is walking around, giving you the opportunity to see what it looks like from the back, okay? Just being careful because it's muddy out here. But this is the back of the home. And again, it's a Cabco single wide. It's 16 by 80. And I'll have the serial number and all of the information to the home here on the screen, okay? So this is a pretty green color and this is a single wide. So let's go on in. Ooh, it's muddy. Probably messing up my shoes. <laughs> Let's go in and see what this home looks like. I'm so excited because Cabco's make some pretty nice homes. Very good. So this is a 2021 Cabco three bedroom, two bath. All right. Hi family, before we review this video, I just want to give a small disclaimer. I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home. I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I video. If you have any questions about finding this home, pricing or specifications, all the information that I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. So, let's see, we don't have lights. All right, so when you come in this house, sorry if you hear the echo, this is the front door and it's facing this wall, this cutout. Really nice, so you can see into the kitchen or the person in the kitchen can see who's at the door. Really pretty. So to the right of this cutout, you have your living room, has the beams and the ceilings, that's totally op optional. You don't need, you don't have to have them, or they don't have to be that color, you can make them white. You have a ceiling fan, and then you have this space in your living room. You have this huge, huge window here in your living room, and you have lots of space in your living room. This kind of puts me in the mind of a mud room. Just doesn't have the hooks, but this is the space where your TV would go. You've got space for all your uh, electronics. You can put your TV up there again. This is an upgrade, this is optional. You don't have to have that panel. You can totally order this home if you're not purchasing off the lot, which a lot of people do. You can order it without that area. It'll definitely give you more space for your TV. So you have this huge window over here, and then you have two windows on either side of the TV. Really nice. I'm trying to find the light, you guys, because there isn't light in here, so please forgive the darkness. Now, From the living room, we come around to the kitchen. Love it, love it, love it, love that large counter. Right there you have cabinet space underneath. You have the butcher block countertops. Really pretty. You have a built-in microwave over the stove. Lots of cabinets and you got some Draw, you got cabinets and drawers here. You got your dishwasher next to this industrial sink. Uh, you have just a plain um, faucet here. I kind of thought one of those big faucets with the wire around it to match the sink, but you could 
totally upgrade that if you like and have that added. There is your refrigerator, more cabinet space above it. And then it looks like you have a pantry here. Take the rubber band off. Yep. You've got four shelves in there. You can't see one because it's hidden behind that. That's just the plastic that, uh, some of the plastic that wrapped either something in the house or something on the outside of the house. It'll wrap it back when they wrap this house up to take it, they'll reuse that. So this is your kitchen. Beams throughout the kitchen. You have those cap lights here in the kitchen, four across. Really, really nice, really nice. And again, that's the cutout from this side up to the front door. Really nice. Love this large uh, space uh, here. And these shelves, you don't often get bottoms with shelving, so that's a nice plus right there. I'm glad that I opened it and just instead of just assuming that it would be the regular shelf. So now, see, that one doesn't have a shelf, but this one does. Really nice, really nice. Nice surprise, really nice. We'll open a top one too, really nice. So over here you have your dining room area. You got space for a table. You got a beam in the dining room and you've got a window. Really nice. So that's all your space for your dining room table. So you can put a round or a square table over here in the corner. You sure could. Not a, a, a big space, but this is a single wide. So you think about it. This isn't gonna be like a huge house with a lot, a big old dining room table, but it's adequate for the space that you have. Really nice. So let's walk back through the living room. We'll go take a look at the guest bedrooms. Now you got this hallway here and you've got a back door. This is your back door. I know it says not an exit, but that's because they don't have stairs out there. So this is a back door. And around this corner, you have a guest bedroom here. All right, so that's guest bedroom number one. And then you've got a standard closet. Very nice. I'll give you a view from the closet. Uh-oh. Show you how much space you got. So this is guest bedroom number one. And then you've got your guest bath. It's dark, so you can't really see, but you've got a tub and shower, toilet, and a sink right there. Is that better? All right. And then you've got guest bedroom number one, uh, number two. I'll walk over here. You got your standard closet right there. And then again, I'll go into the closet. Start from the floor up to show you how much space you have in there. Very nice. Very nice. So that's your guest bathroom. And then right here in the hall, is where your washer and dryer would go. Open this door back. This is where your washer and dryer would go. There's a wall dividing the washer and dryer and the back door to give you an idea, okay? So that's where your washer and dryer would go. I'm gonna go back to the back door and I'm gonna show you. So you got a bedroom, bathroom, bedroom, and then on this side, on the other side of this wall, your washer and dryer with shelving above. Okay, very nice. Now, back through the kitchen, we have the master bedroom. All right, so this is your master bedroom. 
two large windows there. All of this is master bedroom, nice size master bedroom. And I, I did want to add, because I didn't say it before, the vents are in the ceiling, you guys. Awesome. This is an awesome single wide. Love it, love it, love it. So for all of my people looking for a single wide, this is a pretty awesome single wide. All right. In here, you got your master bath. You've got double sinks, two mirrors above, three light bulbs going to that vanity. You've got this huge oversized shower with a glass wall. You don't have a door. You've got the rain shower shower head. Really nice. Really, really nice. That's an oversized shower. That's a really nice upgrade so if you bought the lot model do you have a really nice house you've got storage here two four six cabinets pretty nice you got your toilet here next to the sink with a window that opens really nice and then your master closet is in here so if you got closet that way and great use of space, you guys. They put the, they put, they didn't just have this one row. A lot of times you go, oh, it would have, I would have extra shelving. But great use of space in this one. Really nice. So I'll show you the floor, give you an idea of how much space you have. Really nice. All right, this is a cab coat. Cab coat, it's a, uh, called the MD single 16 by 80 it's three bedroom two bath I'll have the serial number and everything on the screen and all of the information to find out the cost of this home will be down in the description box okay thanks so much for watching this beautiful beautiful single wide tour this is the mobile home diva have a great day